update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. It is Fed Day. We get the decision as we speak. I got charts up here live, folks, and we got an acceleration of positive territory before I even have the words on my chart right now. We have the S&Ps accelerating. Let me put it on a one minute to see the action. Uh, they point to an interest rate hike in March. That is the headline to come out first. We have the S&Ps right now spiking higher higher up 15 points look at that volatility we get at two o'clock you're positive by almost 80 points in the s p's right now up 1.8 percent tech stocks trading higher as well i guess you take out the equation that we get a rate hike right now you take out the equation we get a 50 basis point um hike as had some had thrown around not really fair uh didn't see that possibility coming but nonetheless we're seeing markets pull back a little bit we got some volatility folks we got a press conference beginning in 30 minutes with chairman powell and we got markets in positive territory look at this volatility on a one minute basis right now we just traded up on the nasdaq 100 uh, 100 points and then we traded back down we're up right now 400 points in the nasdaq 100 that's 2.9 percent. We'll call it the Dow right now up 1.2 percent right now. You got the Russell up almost a solid 2 percent and the S&P's right at 1.8 percent right now. Uh, they point to an interest rate hike in March, trying to figure out, of course, as the, the numbers drop right as we come on the air at two o'clock. We got our man Dave White coming up live with the Power Trading Hour. We got my dad, Tom O'Brien, live from three till four. Should be a couple interesting hours of action here. Uh, the post-meeting statement from the FOMC committee did not provide a specific time for when the increase will come, though indications are that it could happen as soon as the March meeting. With the inf This is a quote, with the inflation. With inflation well above 2% and a strong labor market, the committee expects it will soon be appropriate to raise the target range for the federal funds rate. The statement said the Fed does not meet in February. Next meeting in March. Uh, in addition, the committee noted the central bank's monthly bond buying will proceed at just $30 billion in February, indicating the program, program could end in March, as well as uh, at the same time as possible rate increases. We talk about a market, folks. Watch out. Higher prices we go. S&P's up 92 points. We just hit 44.46. We got the NASDAQ 100 up, four, up 461 points, putting it back on a 15-minute basis, folks. We're now above where we were coming into the week. Wild action. s and is going to 100. Dow up 500. Stay tuned. Dave White's coming up now. And, of course, we got our man Tom O'Brien, my dad, coming up live from 3 till 4. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up next. We'll be right back.